Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I wanted to do a quick take guys because I just realized it's been six months since I've been using this Mi 11 Ultra. And I wanted to share with you guys, first of all, my six month experience with this phone, how it's been. But then I wanna talk about the top three things that I hope we can see from the successor of this Mi 11 Ultra or the Mi 12 or the Xiaomi 12, because no more Mi, right? What is it gonna be? So six months, guys, what a terrific phone. The display, definitely one of the highlights, that buttery smooth 120 hertz refresh rate. The Snapdragon 888 has been solid. Yes, it's overheated though, quite a bit on this phone. And of course the cameras with that rear display, still amazing from the day I picked this phone up. It's still a talking point of this phone. I love the ceramic back. The design, I'll talk about that in a second. I loved it, then I liked it. Now I'm kind of ready for something else. And I guess the major con of this phone though, guys, has been the battery life. The battery life has not held up very well with this phone. I know it's 120 hertz, I know it's 2K, but this thing is just not lasting. It is dying pretty quick. And all in all, I think that's been one of my kind of biggest pet peeves of using this phone. Standby has been pretty rough. The phone will just be dead after 24 hours. It's unfortunate because, you know, overall it's still a terrific device, but you know, I'm not using it day to day as much and to have the phone just die off on me that quickly kind of is a bummer. So what are the things that I think though, overall, despite that terrific phone, but what are the things I think that Xiaomi can do to improve the experience for the Mi 12 and for kind of the upcoming successor to this phone? I think number one is a simple one and that's the design. Now guys, I love the design of this phone. It's very beautiful, very sleek, but I think the writing is on the wall. It is time to explore a different design for Xiaomi's phones. They've had a similar one for the last couple years, and I would love to see a more squared off look with this device. I know some of you love this kind of curved look to this Mi 11 Ultra, but imagine if you had the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max design in a Xiaomi phone. So squared off edges, remove the curvature of the display, and I think we may have a different look for Xiaomi devices that I would definitely appreciate. Number two, the battery life. It just needs to improve. I don't know how they're gonna do that, but there just needs to be something that they can do to improve the battery life of their 2K 120 hertz display phones. Cause it, it just isn't cutting it. That's one area where I think, you know, the iPhone has just gone way ahead. And I haven't used the S21 Ultra. I don't know what the battery life on that phone would have been like. I'd use it as long term as this phone, but it definitely is not there anymore. And so anything they can do to improve the battery life will be very welcome. The last thing guys, I think, and this is gonna be kind of a controversial one, but is the software. <sighs> Folks, I'm not really loving MIUI as much as I used to. And it's not to say that they haven't made big changes and MIUI 12.5, won't make improvements, but I'm just starting to feel like MIUI in itself is getting a little bit more stale now, just a little bit stale. And I know that they have made, definitely made improvements. They're making more security update commitments, but in my feeling, I just think that we need to see some sort of a change or even more stripped down an approach to the software on these phones. Cause let's face it, they, for me, they are definitely getting a little bit old and maybe we'll see further improvements with MIUI 13. But for now, I think my experience of this Mi 11 Ultra is that, you know, I come to it and I'm used to it now, but it's not wowing me anymore. And I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. I think in terms of design, in terms of the battery life, performance is a non-issue. This thing still is great. The cameras have, they're still great. They've been surpassed, I think, at this point by the 13 Pro Max, but I think there's still room for improvement and they'll continue to do that as well. But hit me up in the comments, guys. What are the biggest changes you would like to see or upgrades from this Mi 11 Ultra to a Mi 12 or a Xiaomi 12 and a Xiaomi 12 Ultra? Because you know, that's gonna be the name of it. Hit me up in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this quick one. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Reiki Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates.
It's looking like it's about to rain, so I'm gonna be heading out soon. But hit me up in the comments, any questions and anything you'd like me to cover this week as well. If you have anything going on, also check out our GCC chat tonight. Should be a good one on Twitter Spaces. Stay tuned for that as well. So that's it. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. Oh, and by the way, this was cinematic mode on the 13 Pro Max. And wrist check, I'm wearing my brand new Omega Speedmaster Date on a green NATO strap. Just loving this thing. Incredible. Have a good one.